It's 12 months, 12 scenes, one war memorial, one bin, one bench, six actors, 16 characters, one murder. But this numerical equation adds up to so much more than the sum of its parts. And as a lot of the audience have said to me after seeing this play, there's something really magical about it. It's a slice of life comedy drama set across a year, told around a bench in the park. Urban grit, yeah, these are real salty characters that don't make you laugh, don't make you cry, don't fill you with horror. Oh, my most controversial play to date. This one is adults only. You'll be gripped at certain parts of the play as well. You literally won't be able to move. You'll be that transfixed by some of the scenes that are going on. They are a series of plays all set in the same community and that universe is expanding. Each play you can watch on its own and get the full pleasure from seeing that play. But once you see another play from Tales from Paradise Heights, you start to see the connections, characters that cross over, locations, incidents, all that sort of thing. There's a real living, thriving community here, day and night, 24 hours a day. There's something a little bit strange going on. A little bit of the supernatural that gradually starts to bleed through further and further. There's like a, a darkness nibbling at the edges of this community and it's slowly starting to consume it. Critics are calling them a Canterbury Tales for today. They're also calling them a Chronicle of Broken Britain and they're calling them a rich tapestry of wonderful characters in a living, thriving community. It's the kind of play where at the end, you're applauding and cheering the cast as they leave the stage. You're either going away with a tear in your eye or a grin on your face. Now, what more do you want from a night of theater? I know we're living in a cost of living crisis, but this play, is a shout from those mean and moody streets. The mean and moody streets of Tales from Paradise Heights. How do I say this without hurting your feelings? We're not in Kansas anymore, right? 